Well, my friends, I am here with Rayanne Nell. She is the brand strategy director for Omaha Home for Boys. And it's that time of year. Rayanne, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. All right. First of all, um, the Omaha Home for Boys, I just love this organization and you do so much for so many. So we're going to start there and just tell us a little bit about the organization and, and who you serve. So we have been in the community for over 100 years here at Omaha Home for Boys. And really the heart of who we serve, Andy, is youth, young adults, and families. So when youth, young adults, and families come to us, they're often in a, need, in a time of crisis. So really that is our first objective is to help them stabilize and then, of course, once they're stabilized, they are more able to focus on long-term goals in regards to education, housing, employment, and basic life skills. Um, and really, our end goal is to help these youth, young adults, and families become productive, independent members of our community. Yeah, which is, which is I mean, it's so important um, because, you know, some people have everything they need for the most part to go out into the world and and some don't and when you when you're starting from kind of that disadvantage having what you guys offer them to to make their lives the best um that it can be successfully quality of life uh it's just so amazing uh before we get um into uh the holiday season i do we were just talking about um you had an event a, a month or so ago that was kind of a new, a new thing. I just, just skip 30 seconds. Um, how was it? It was amazing. So our event this year was called Imagine and it was an evening just filled with inspiration and action. And it was all about our impact in the community and how everyone in this community helps us achieve that impact. And it was also all about our youth and families. We highlighted them, their stories and they told us what OHB in this community means to them. And it filled everyone's bucket that was in that room. It was great. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. Um, again, yeah, that's just so great. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the holiday season. So you have something coming up like pretty much immediately. So tell us about what it is. And I think it's Pro Project Christmas Joy. And you've done this for several years. We have. So we have done Project Christmas Joy for several years. It is our annual drive to collect both needs and gifts for the youth and families in all of our programs. Um, so as you can imagine, like many of our youth and families are really struggling just to make ends meet. And so when the holidays come, it is really a challenge for them to be able to provide any of those special gifts for their little ones um, or, or just to receive a special gift themselves. Yeah. And so what are the dates? Because there's specific dates for this, right? It yes. Yep. So the drive is officially running November 28th through December 8th. So it's about a couple of weeks there and um, it's all taking place online, which is awesome. You don't even have to leave That's the comfort awesome. of your home or your office. Okay, <laughs> um, wonderful. Yeah. So we have an Amazon wish list set up. We are also taking online monetary donations um, where people can give in support of the drive. Or if you do like to shop locally here at a retailer in Omaha, you can purchase gifts like that and deliver them to us as well. So there is, I guess, an offline option. Yeah. Um, but I personally love the Amazon wish list because the items on there are gifts and essentials that our program managers have specifically picked out for youth and kids in their programs. Um, so they're they're highly requested, highly needed items. And the awesome thing is, about it too is that we have gifts that are at every single price range. So I love the Amazon wish list. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> well, let me ask you: What are like some of the what? What are people wanting or, or I mean, like there's the needing, but there's also just the just the joy of having a gift. What are some of the what are some let's talk. Let's start first. What are some of the needs that um, people are going to see on this wish list? 
So some of the highly needed items are items that I love because they are a need, but they can also make a really neat gift. So some of those things are like stocking hats, gloves, comfy blankets, comfy pajamas, um, bedding, just kind of those things that are, like I said, a need, but they also make a really neat gift, which it kind of doubles that way, which I love. <laughs> yeah. And are there, um, so we're looking at ages and I know when people go online and we'll talk about the website and everything, but just for the purposes of this conversation, what are the ages that, that, that we have the opportunity? Are we, are we finding a family or are we just finding like, Hey, I got a hundred dollars to spend. I'm going to go online and, and purchase something. Right. The way I like to describe it is if you think about the young adult that's in your life, that's maybe 17 to about 24, that's really the heart of who we, who we serve. So those older teenagers and young adults is um, a big majority of who we serve. So think about those young people in your life and what they might like for Christmas. Our young adults love those same things too. Um, and also some of those young adults are parents themselves. So they have children of their own. And usually that age range is new, um, excuse me, newborn to about five years old. So again, if you think of the little ones in your life and, and what they're asking for for Christmas, be the perfect fit for our young parents and their kids too. So I'm glancing over this way because I am on your website, ohb.org. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the first thing that pops up is um, this beautiful Christmas photo, holiday photo. So people can go here and then that's where they start the, the journey of getting, you know, can you start doing it now or do we need to wait until the 28th? And that, that's, I guess, have to wait until the 28th. Anyone okay. else can be the first, first one to kind of kick off our giving. We have everything um, already and set up. So it's, it's ready to go, ready, ready to shop and ready to get those gifts and, and needs into the hands of our, our youth and young adults. About how many people are, are you serving through this particular program? We will have about 150 young adults and children celebrating the holidays with us. Okay. Um, each program celebrates a little bit differently, but they really, the program staff just tries so hard to make Christmas special for them. Um, yeah. And honestly, often it is usually the only Christmas celebration they have. So just having those special gifts under the tree from everyone is, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's just no. amazing. No, and I can actually, I can actually just like, like feel it. But again, when you're um, talking about um, youth and young adults, um, that the holiday season is a special time of year. It's also a very stressful time of year. It's so funny how it can have like this joy and the stress that, it, that there's like, they're two opposite sides of a coin. Um, and this is just something that makes them um just, you know, it's feel special or, or it's just so fun opening up a gift. And I want to ask you, so what remarks have you heard from the past? I'm curious about that. Um, it, it, it varies year to year, but there's just always this common theme. I feel like that rings true year to year. And it's just that, it's just that gratitude. It's that gratitude and that thankfulness and just that almost disbelief that somebody they don't even know, took the time to send them this special gift that they may not have had otherwise. And it, it you know, it's maybe something that they need anyway. Um, that's really what it is. It's the thankfulness and the gratitude that is just year after year, what we hear. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. So again, your website is ohb.org. Um, anything else before we've got about maybe a minute or less, um, probably less. What can I, anything else you want to say before I let you go and let people go start shopping? Uh, we, you know, we're just so appreciative of, of everyone that can go out there and, and send a gift, whether that's a $5 gift we have on our list or a bigger ticket item, every single gift helps. And it just truly does spread joy. And we're just so thankful for that. Well, Rianne, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for what you do for the community, Omaha Boys, what they do for the community. Um, truly, we are so blessed in our community for organizations like this. And and I and I'm grateful that that I I can help. You know, that's just one of the things I think we all want to do is just help um, over the holiday season and three 
65 a year. So, all right. Well, thanks so much. Thank you, Andy. You are welcome. And folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs>